Hey everyone, so in this video we're going to show you some of the fun activities there is to do on the MSC Eurebia. You know, if you've got those long sea days or maybe there's a port that you don't fancy getting off at, so you just want to enjoy some of what the ship has to offer. Now some of that is um, you do have to pay extra for and some of that is included in the cruise fare. But as we go along and show you, we'll explain all that as we go along. So yeah, let's go get straight into it. Right, so we'll start off in this area of the ship. This is the amusement park area. So this is where a lot of your fun pass stuff is. We will explain more about that in a minute. But behind me, you've got the bowling alley. There's two bowling alleys. Uh, you can have up to quite a few players at one time and uh, you can have do half an hour or an hour. Then you've also got the hollow blitz, which is like a VR kind of driving simulator. That's different to the one on the Virtuosa. So that's a really cool little thing. Next door, you've got the 4DX cinema. That's where you're going with the, the glasses on. You sit down in a little moving seat and you've got to shoot bad guys or crazy monsters on the screen and get points. Next up, you've got the F1 simulator. Now, if you are like me, a bit larger, it's a bit, <laughs> it's a bit of a struggle getting in and out. Let's just put it that way. It's very snug. It's a nice little uh, driving simulator, so if, if you love them kind of things, that would be right up your alley. And then also around here, you've got some, what they call the virtual arcade. It's just nothing virtual about it, really. It's just arcade machines. There's like the classic ones where you're just shooting things on a screen. You've got like the driving ones, the bike ones, a few other little ones. And then you've also got, say, the dance machine and the basketball throwing machine which Stacy annihilated me on the other day I was terrible at that but the only thing I will just mention is the teddy grabbing machines are not included in the fun pass so make sure your kids don't go crazy with your card at the teddy machines so all them activities and games that Kev's just mentioned so yeah none of them are free or included with the price of your cruise fare you do have to pay extra for them now there are some ways that you can do that we pre-purchased a a fun pass before we came on board the ship so we cost us 69 pounds you can either have one each or you can just have the one between you we just had the one between us now this is the best deal that you're gonna get because it costs 69 pounds but we then got 140 euros because that's what it is on the ship at the moment isn't it? Euros. Yes, so we euros. then got 140 euros worth of credit so you're essentially doubling the value of it so that is the better option to do if you don't do that and then you want to or a bouquet fun pass on the ship again it's the same where i think it starts off the minimum is you pay 25 pounds we'll put a copy of it now of what it is and you get more credit than what you've actually purchased is it you, you pay get... 25 pound and you get Five extra, I think. Five extra. But the more you pay. The more you pay, the more you get back in credit, but the deal isn't as good as uh, pre-buying it before you come on the cruise. Now, if you don't want to purchase the fun pass, you can just pay for things individually, just using, obviously, your cruise card. I've just got the price list here. So, for example, the Formula Racer is €11 Euros per person. The Interactive Cinema is uh, €10 Euros per adult, €8 Euros each per child. Bowling is 25 euros for 30 minutes or 45 euros for an hour. And then the virtual thing behind me there is 10 euros each. So obviously, if you know you want half an hour's game of bowling, that's 25 euros. So you may as well purchase the minimum fun pass, which is 25 euros, and then you get 30 euros in credit. So you're gaining an extra five euros but it depends like how much of it you want to do really but for us it worked out better to get the fun pass before we came on board so with some of the things like the bowling if you turn up to play and the lanes are busy you might have to speak to them at the desk here and ask to maybe book in come back later on and book an actual time slot both times that me and Kev have played, we've just turned up and no one was playing, so we just went straight on there and started bowling. But like you say, if it's really busy, 
you may have to book a time slot to play. So in the main desk in this area as well, there is opening times on there. It'll tell you the opening times for the port days and sea days. There's also a copy of that on the MSC for me app and your daily schedule. Obviously check that whilst you're on board. It may or may not be different from when we are on. And then just across from the, uh, the bowling and stuff is your little sports court. I think they're setting up for something because <laughs> the music's on quite loud. I think they're having volleyball maybe. Looks like they've got some volleyball um, nets that they're going to be putting up. But normally you can come in here and they've got footballs. On your <laughs> Stacey's just pretending she's uh, got a ball there. Yeah, I love this music. I know, I think they're setting up for volleyball. Uh, but they have basketball and football. Yesterday we saw them doing yoga in here, so check your daily activity sheet for activities in here. On the Virtuoso, they always had two um, big hoops as well, didn't they yeah. set up permanently? They're in there. Yeah, they're not always, they were permanently up yeah. there, weren't they? I've not seen them set up on here yet. Well, only the, just yeah. check your activity sheet for yeah. anything going on. Right, so we'll talk you through the pools and hot tubs now. So we're just inside in the bamboo pool now. So just behind me, a deck below, you've got a, a decent sized indoor swimming pool. Here the roof does retract, so if you're on a hotter, warmer cruise, they will retract the roof. Inside here you also have two pretty decent sized jacuzzis. They're like, they've got like curved windows by them, so they kind of hang off the ship a little bit. So they've got nice views, whether you're in port or in this, uh, on a sea day. Outside now you've got a larger pool. Well, it looks like one large pool, but it's not. It's actually two pools with a little bit in the middle. So don't be confused, think, oh, I'll get some good laps in there. It's two smaller pools. And then there as well, you've got two curved hot tubs. They're like horse, kind of like a horseshoe shape, but not quite so bent. Curved, where you sit out and look out at the sea. And then also you've got a smaller swimming pool at the back. It's not an infinity pool, but it's just a smaller pool there. If you like them sea views like Stacy loves at the wake of the ship, you can go there. Uh, just sit in there and watch the world go by. So whilst we're inside the bamboo pool area, we'll just show you a couple other things in here. So at either end, so there's one over there and one behind me, there's two ping pong tables. So you can play them to your heart's content if you love a bit of ping pong. Then you've got three foosball tables. So this will be the easiest and probably only goal Stacey will ever score on a foosball table. I hate this game, I really do. Go on. <laughs> Honestly, I'm surprised you even managed that. That's how bad you are at foosball. I, hate it. I just can't grasp moving him. He goes, on, he goes too quick. Yeah, but they've got these here. Uh, I'm not sure about the foosball, but I, we know uh, we've seen while we've been in here. They do have ping pong contests on whilst yeah. on board. So check your daily activity sheet. Yeah, I was going to say it tells you all in there, but it was quite popular because there was a massive queue for that. The there other was day a big queue. Yeah. We were going to play, but it was a bit too. It would have taken ages to go I through. I bet there was at least 30 people playing. Yeah, yeah it was quite a lot. It did take a while, but yeah, always check your daily activity sheet and not play foosball. Right, okay, now, so to the fun stuff, the wet stuff. So, this is Ocean K Aqua Park. This is, as the name says, it's the aqua park on the ship. So this is where you've got the little kids, like, wet park area. So you've got, like, little slides little sprays that spray you and there's a little gun that you can do this with and it shoots water and Stacy just wet me with it she was like I didn't know it'd go that far she did so I've got wet shoes now but this is also where your three slides are so these are three new slides to the MSC you've got one that's like a bowl so you slide down and you end up in a bowl and then you walk down some steps so you don't fall into like a pool of water then you've got two ring slides. Now you can either do single ring or double ring. They're really cool rides. The orange one, as you go through, you've got like the colored swirls that come up. They are really good. Now all this is included. You don't have to pay any extra. You do have to get a wristband. Uh, so it's like a waiver kind of thing. So you just have to go to the tent at the moment. It's underneath the rope bridge. So you just go there, sign up, and they'll give you a wristband. And then this is the Himalayan bridge. So we will go on this. It's a little bit cold. It's a little bit windy. This is included. You don't have to pay any extra for this. This is the like the sign-up desk we told you about. So just come here and sign up for it. 
but it's cold and windy. Stacy's a bit nervous, but let's go on it. Come on, Stacy, you can go first. I forgot how scary this feels. It feels so much higher up when you're on it. Yeah. And it's windy today. Yeah, it is a little bit, so yeah, as you can see. This one's fairly oh. easy. <laughs> yeah, you can hold stuff on that one. But yeah, so we've got to go all the way around past this white post and then come back along here. Oh, can she do it? That's what they use on roller coasters. Yeah, I don't know really. Could be a plastic bottle lid, I don't know. Ready? Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, no hands. No hands. I'm surprised I haven't fallen off yet. Oh. Oh. Okay. We're gonna do this one. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god. Oh, oh. oh no, it's wobbling a lot. It's wobbling a lot. <laughs> oh, some of these are easier than others. Oh, I know that one's okay because it's on a metal rod. To be fair though, the best time to do this would be like now when it's like dusky, sun yeah. setting. It's really nice up here. Oh, shame it's not like somewhere tropical but it's cool. still nice oh. <laughs> I don't know if it's easier or harder with these ropes to get in your way <laughs> So we're about halfway around now, but there's some nice views of the slides up here. They are actually some really good slides and it's, it's a nice sunny day as well. There's nothing glamorous about this job. Last one. Here we go. <laughs> Just run across that one. So there you have it. There's some fun things to do on the MSC Eurebia. We've uh, obviously shown you some things that are included and some things that you pay extra for. Hopefully you've also gotten a tip as well that if you do want the uh, fun pass, just ways in which you can get the best value for that really. But yeah, it's a, it's a really great ship. Um, we absolutely love it. There's plenty to do on like say them sea days or if there's any ports that you're not getting off at. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video and it's been useful for you if you are coming on board the ship. So we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.